It's the Snacker Girls. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Hey guys, I'm Cassie. And I'm Alicia. And we're the Snacker Girls. So today we're actually going to try something new. I know you guys are used to our Universal Yums box. We are still doing that, don't worry. But we decided to try a new box the munch pack Ooh, so this is the family pack. pack so it's hard to see on the table here but we got a ton of goodies to try yeah. so we are going to give those a try and let you know what we think of each and every one and yeah also we are now doing weight watchers together so yes. we will also be telling you guys how many points is in everything in case anyone does it along with us so yeah let us know what you think if you get this box too let us know what your favorites were and we can't wait to try them all you ready i'm ready let's do it so first up we have crispy bacon mackies of scotland i'm so excited for these so cassie is on the green plan for weight watchers i'm on the blue plan so she's looking up all the points so she's going to tell you all the green points and then in the comments i will put in the description i will put the blue points for it okay so what do we have for points for this? So for these bacon chips, it is six points um, for one serving. Which is the whole bag. Okay. I don't know why I was expecting it to be a very overpowering taste of bacon, but it's actually pretty light. I don't taste the bacon. Really? Not really. It tastes like something. Um, but I don't get a strong bacon vibe. They're good. I don't know if I'd buy them though. They kind of like taste like um, barbecue lays a little bit. Definitely more mm -hmm. barbecue yeah. for sure. I definitely get more of a barbecue vibe from this. But yeah, they're, they're good. They're not bad. No, they're not if bad. If you had them like at work, I would probably ask you for a few. But I don't think I would probably buy these. Sorry, Scotland. <laughs> Next up is Bourbon Petite Caramel Cookies. Such a cute package. Look at the little bear smile. Teddy bear. So Cassie just looked these up. These are four points for three three servings. So we're not sure what this really looks like. So we'll figure it out. Oh, they're so little. Ooh, so they are they, they are little cookies. Oh, I'm struggling. They are little cookies. There's so three small. servings per thing. So it's probably like one point of cookie almost. Because if there's three servings. Oh yeah. Oh, you can, ooh, they have a strong smell. Of what, though? Not, I don't get caramel, but I definitely no. get, like, a caramelization of something, like a syrup smell. I, I feel like it smells like something very familiar, and I'm struggling to think of what. It's like a tasty shortbread cookie. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Yeah. I would buy those. Those are really good. I think, um. I did like those. They're much better than shortbread cookies, and I love shortbread cookies, so. Um, but those are, those are, those were tasty. Yeah. I really did like those. I approve. Okay, guys. I'm super excited about this because I didn't even know this was a thing, but these are giant Skittles. How exciting. Okay. What country is this from? Cool. So these are from the United Kingdom. Oh, United Kingdom. You're holding out on us. I didn't know yeah, you guys had these. So actually, um, I don't think, did we mention that this is a box from a bunch with a bunch of different countries? We didn't. So Munchpack actually doesn't choose one specific country like Universal Yums does. So we have things from all over the place. We should have mentioned that. So we have the crispy bacon from Scotland. We had the bourbon cookies from Japan. Japan. And then these, United Kingdom. Let's do it. All right. Oh, and they tell you the, sh the flavors on the back. I okay. once read that Skittles actually don't, they're, they all taste the same. It's just color. They're huge. They are really big. Wow. Okay. Probably like three times bigger than a normal. It's what you'd expect. A very large Skittle. Yeah. It's good. I mean, I like Skittles. Oh, so these are a lot of points, guys. If you're on Weight Watchers, I would stay away from the giant Skittles. It is 10 points Ten for the points. entire bag. So we probably each just ate like a point in Skittles easily. Yeah. Very good though. I mean, yeah. they're just what you'd expect though. So if you're looking for something over the top, then you're probably not gonna get it from that. But if you're looking for something cool that you might not see, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, those are good, but 10 points. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying away. Next up, Guralki. They're chocolate wafers from Poland. 
and they are 13 points for one serving. So, whew. is one serving the whole thing probably? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, one big I wafer. So. Wow, it's thick. It's a very thick wafer. So we're gonna break off a little piece because it's a lot of points. Can you see how thick that is? Chocolate outside. We've tried a lot of wafers with all these boxes. There's always at least one wafer in every box. Mm -hmm. I do like these. Um, they're not the best ones that I've had, mm -hmm. but good job, Poland. I think they're okay. Yeah, they're not bad, but um, yeah, they're just they're okay. If you know me, I am Polish. My last name is Polish, so. I don't mind trying Polish treats. <laughs> Uralkis. I had to tra Google Translate how to say yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how to pronounce this. So, you know, go Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> These Blue Prince chocolate cookies. Where are they from? These ones are from Pakistan. Ooh. Oh, I was expecting them to be like completely chocolate. They're breaking a little here. Oh, they're very uh, flaky. Ooh, okay. They're like falling apart. Can we each just split a cookie? Yes. Fine? Jeez. It's like breaking apart real bad. I'm almost afraid to split this. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, so it's very flaky. It's falling apart. Yeah. So we don't have points for these, so we're going to look them up after by putting in all of the nutritional information in, and then we will get back to it. But um, how did you think about that? Um, I don't know. I feel like they were a little funky. I think the cookie had a bad aftertaste. I think that's what, where the funky is coming from. I think from. it was initially pretty good, but yeah, it's like taste that's lingering in my mouth. I'm not, I'm not too crazy about it. Yeah. I'm not a fan. I wouldn't buy them, but I see you, Pakistan. <laughs> Haribo Rainbow Twist. So Haribo is a brand of candy that we have here in the United States so and these ones come from Germany Germany how many points are these it's so little they're so cute so these um we're gonna have to also manually put in the information they're so hard I don't know if it doesn't do with like the shipping it's been a little cold these are so hard we did have them sitting in the box in the car while we were at work no one would be coming to do the video after work so I could have to do with that. Um, I wouldn't buy them. They're, they stick to your teeth a lot. Um, yeah, they're okay. I'm a little disappointed because I love the brand Haribo. Yeah. That they're, I'm usually such a fan, but that was just not. Yeah, not the gummy it. bears are fine and stuff, but yeah, those are a no-go for me. Yep. Okay, so next we have these. Oh, Ole or Ole? I'm not sure. But well, what country are they from? They're from Trinidad. Oh, then I don't know. <laughs> so um, they're extreme barbecue. So they kind of look like Doritos. So I guess we're going to see. Yep, so definitely look like little Doritos. They really look like Doritos, like perfectly. There are eight points for the entire pack. These are tasty. I am all about these guys. These are tasty. They're a bit thicker than mm -hmm. Doritos, so they're not that like very thin crunch you get. You do kind of have to work towards it, but yeah, they're really good. Oh. I, I would like a buy them. sweet barbecue. Like it's good. Yeah, it's good. I know. I wouldn't call it like extreme barbecue. No, it was just a very good barbecue, mm -hmm. but nothing crazy. An extremely good barbecue. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely get it again. Oh yeah, absolutely. From Bon Art, we have sweeties, gummy candies, and they're cinema. How yeah. cool are those? Like, I just like the packaging. So seven pieces of these are five points. So that's not too bad. I mean, if you have like just one or two, it's fine. It looks like it has like peach rings, got some gummy forms. So let's see what we got. Do you have a preference on what you want, Cassie? Um, I want to try the bottle. Is that like a bottle? Yep. So it's like a little root beer bottle. Oh, I got root beer. Or maybe like a cola. I don't like root beer, but let's try it. I this. think it's cola. Okay. I'm going to do a little peach ring. Oh, it's definitely Coke, Coca-Cola. It's got a sourness to it. Well, I think they're supposed to. Oh, <laughs> they did say sour. Went right over my head. Sorry, guys. What country <laughs> is that from? Mm. Those are really good. My peach rings are great. 
I was not a fan of my Coca-Cola bottle. Turkey. They're from Turkey. Turkey. I approve. I would definitely take those to the movies, seeing as though they're cinema neons. Oh, absolutely. Can we yeah. start selling that over here on our I know, right? Like, come on. Right. They actually <laughs> just started opening up the concessions in movie theaters, so we're yes. so excited for that. We're getting excited. We have these Dots Homestyle pretzels, so I'm just based off the Waitress Homestyle thing. They're like your classic pretzels, except um, I think they're like a twist. They're from the United States. Oh, they are. I have never heard of them. Oh, and I just really quickly read that there's a top secret seasoning on the twist pretzels. So Makes me wonder see where they're sold because I've I just, never seen these. Every time we get these boxes, I assume that they're just popular items in the country, but I've never heard of those. If you've heard of them, please let us know. I feel like it broke. There are oh. broken pieces over here. I was like, oh, a little baby piece. But yeah, just normal pretzels. I feel like I definitely taste garlic. Definitely garlic for sure. I mean, they're just pretzels. You know what it reminds me of? Okay, think of a pasta and then think of the breadstick you would get on the side. Like I'm thinking like um, Olive Garden mm -hmm. with like a breadstick on the side. Definitely very flavorful, mm -hmm. really good. Um, I mean, I guess I would buy them if I saw them. Now it makes me wonder if I'll ever see them in the stores just not noticing them before, but. I know. So these points actually aren't that bad. Uh, it's four points for 18 pieces. So that's a, that's a pretty good amount, I feel like, for a yeah, snack. Yeah, probably have the whole bag, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, pretty good. I like them. All right, guys. Yummy banana toffee. So we actually had this before. We got it in our Universal Yums box, the first box we ever got. And we loved it. Oh, yeah. I could eat this all day. It is a bit high in points, just so you know, 13 points. And I think that was for half of the package. So yeah, that's 26 a lot. points for this entire package. And it's like not even the size of my hand. So yeah, it's a lot. But the best thing about this is it's fun because you gotta whack it, then unwrap it. <laughs> so watch as I whack it. Prepare. There we go. <laughs> It's very hard, so if you yeah. don't whack it... It will not come apart. They don't like, come apart. You're going to have to dig into it with a knife if you don't whack yeah, it. Yeah, they're very thick. It's like, it's funny. Like, who came up with that idea? It was like, let's make a toffee that you have to just whack so hard to make them separate, you know? Super banana-y. Mm. Very good. It just, like, flows banana. Every, every second it's in your mouth is banana. I'm so good. I could eat these all day. It sucks they're so high in points, but you mentioned off camera, it's all sugar. Yeah, so good. pure sugar, but so good. So good. All right, so next we have these dill chips. They're dill pickle flavors, and they are, for one bag, it's six points. So, I mean, pretty typical, I feel like, of a bag of chips. Yeah, I just have a couple, about half. We have dill pickle chips in the US, I I think they're pretty I, good. Yeah. These are from Canada, so they're not far away. Wow, yeah. smell that. Yeah, that's like smelling into a pickle jar. Oh, and they have like a little seasoning. Like, I don't know if you could see that. Little flakes on they them. They look like sour cream and onion chips. Mm-hmm. They're strong. <laughs> oh my God. They are stronger than the ones in the U.S., I would say. I would say if you went into, like, your pickle jar and you decided you are just going to drink the pickle juice in your chip form. Though, I love them. It's probably one of my favorite things we have so far. I that. love dill pickle chips, though. I love dill pickles. I'm a pickle person. I also really enjoy pickles. Mm -hmm. So, very good. Okay. Yeah, that was a good one. We have another Polish treat. Forgive my accent. But these <laughs> are Felix. Crixi, Servana Paprika. So, I love the packaging. We haven't really gotten anything in like that that type of packaging. Fan of that. This is the little thing, guys. It's the little thing. Let's hope it's easy to open. Of course, I ripped it, but you know. There were no points to scan for this one either, so we're not sure. They're pretty long. 
It has a picture of a pepper on the outside, like a regular bell pepper. But it doesn't say spicy, it just says delicious, sweet, and savory. So I'm all about that. These are really good. Mm, I like these. I feel like they're almost like a little tomato-y. Oh my God, I like that. I wish it said the, well, it says the ingredients, but I can't read it. But mm. yeah, I do like that. Those are really good. They do taste like a, something a little familiar though. Um, mm. Almost like a, just like a cheese stick, I guess like a. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know we have something similar in the United States. But this is really good flavor. And I really like these. This is something I'd buy at the store. I feel like this is something you'd buy your kids. You know, yes. put it in their yep. lunch bag or whatever. But, you know, this is a great snack. I, I'm all about it. I'm a big fan. Yes. Okay. So next we have this Orion Super Sour Candy and Green Apple flavor. Now, I'm really nervous about this because we know I don't do sour and I don't do spicy, and this is just like the mother load of sour. Um, it is these little balls, and inside it has sour powder. So I'm like kind of terrified right now. I'm thrilled. I love <laughs> sour candy. I can't get enough of it. I usually think that most candy is not sour enough, so I really hope this gives me a nice pucker. Another thing I just want to say is I love that they're individually wrapped. Beautiful. That is awesome, so I'm going to give you that. And there's um, quite a good amount in here, like pretty decent amount. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a lot. I wonder if it tells you how many. 14. There are 14 in here. For this snack, we do not have the points, um, but we can try to look it up later and post it in the comments. They're really small. I'm eager to see. They're super sticky, like it's sticking to my finger. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm afraid. I'm afraid, guys. I'm not ready. They're actually chewable. I thought it was going to be like a really hard candy, but... So did I. You can chew it. Oh, it says chewing on it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it says it in big letters, too. Like, wow. What okay. country is this from? Um, South Korea. I'm like afraid to chew it. <laughs> I, got to the, I got to the center already. It's something crazy. She's going to make a face, but. <laughs> Let's stop it, guys. <laughs> it's really of, not that bad. It's sour. If you don't like sour, it goes down your throat and you're kind of choking on it. And my eyes are watering. I found it a little disappointing. However, the flavor was great. I thought they taste really good. You have that nice green apple flavor. But yeah, I, I'm definitely a bit disappointed. Uh, not sour. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't think I made a face whatsoever. I feel like she's making me seem dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. It's sour. She's being dramatic. I'm not. She is. It's sour. Next up, this Scani Chocolato from Pakistan. These look, I'm really excited to try these. When they came in, I was like, ooh, a chocolate cream cookie. Try this. Oh, they're so cute. I was expecting it to like have cream, but it's just kind of like a hard little cookie. Pattern. Oh, actually, it looks like it could have something in the middle. Oh, all right. I think. Oh yeah. These are good. Mmm. I would buy these. I was right to be excited about those. <laughs> those are so good. These are amazing. I feel like these just made me think that you know when you eat something it just like gives you memories or it makes you feel like I feel like these make me feel cozy like I just want to be like in a winter day watching a movie a hot Christmas chocolate. movie some hot chocolate and those bomb yeah they were really good definitely very flaky obviously not the center was but when you put it in your mouth it kind of just breaks apart which is really nice I actually like that part about it so so yeah. next we have these they're they're Walker's french fries now these are interesting to me because if you look at the logo, I thought Lay's for a minute, but they yeah. say Walker's. And these are from the United Kingdom. So I am super, super, super excited to try these. I was gonna say, you're knocking off Lay's, but I feel like if anything, Lay's probably knocked off them. Seriously. Wow, okay, automatically you open it, very intense smell. So um, I'm gonna look and see if they tell you what wow. it's supposed to taste like. 
That like hits your nose hard. Oh, okay. So they're flavored with the rich and bold. I, mean, I feel like I'm going to butcher this. Worcester sauce? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I say it wrong sometimes. And people are like, why do you just butcher that? Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. Is it like Worcestershire? Worcester. I think it's what it is. Like Worcestershire. I can't say it. I don't no. know. We need Tyler to come say it. Worcestershire. My brother can say it. Oh, they're curly. It's cute. So these are three for the whole bag. That's actually the least amount of points you've seen for an entire bag. And they're pretty good. I would eat these. These are they're not bad. I think they would make your breath smell bad. So like if you ate them at work, maybe bring some Tic Tacs. Yeah. Well, I haven't had Tic Tacs in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Next video, we try different Tic Tacs from different places. <laughs> I know. These were, I thought they were pretty good, though. Um, Not something I'd grab every day, but I would definitely have a bag if, like, they were lying around. For sure. Especially only three points. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right. These are Orion Tonk Choco from South Korea. They kind of look like Pockies. Yes. Like yes, they do. Let's see if they taste like them. I love Pocky. Me too. They're 11 bigger. for one serving. 11 okay. points. That's, yeah. Ooh. So here's a little piece. Okay. <laughs> They're definitely bigger than Pockies. Right? Oh, yeah. It's like a wafer. Exactly round. like a wafer. Yeah. Very thin. It's not like a full chocolate inside. At least my piece wasn't. No. Mm -hmm. You have a very hollow inside. So when you took a bite, it just kind of like all oh, melted in your mouth. It was definitely tasty though. I yeah. I say the chocolate was very good. The chocolate was delicious. So yeah, I think it was very good. Something I would also snack on if the points weren't so high. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked it a lot though. I would definitely buy it. Me too. So we think this is pronounced loker. We're not really sure. It's from Italy, and they are matcha green tea wafers. Even the wafers joined the matcha craze. <laughs> How many points were these? These were, what did I say, 14 or 11? Yeah, it was high. It was, it was really high. 11 or 14, that's too high. But at least they come in little oh, thin, so thin pieces. Thin. These are probably the smallest wafers we've seen, which is nice because that means probably each one is like a point. <laughs> yeah, these are cute. Do you normally like matcha? Because I don't. I only ever ended up... The only matcha thing, like, drink-wise, that I ended up liking was the matcha... I think it's still in Dunkin' Donuts. Was the matcha ice, like, ice latte. Or, and they have, like, the um, matcha frozen one. I like that. But I've tried matcha-flavored stuff from other places. I did not like it. Yeah, I tried, like, a matcha-flavored ice cream. I wasn't a fan... Those I thought were okay. They were better than the matcha ice cream I had, so I would snack on them. I wouldn't necessarily have the whole packet in, like, one sitting. If somebody offered it, I would take it. I probably just wouldn't, like, buy it myself. I agree. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It does say it's number one in Italy, so I don't know if that's... It is a sticker, so I don't know if that's Munch Pack saying it or if it actually came on it, but... Oh. They're not that bad. They're just Okay. If anybody is from Italy, let us know if they really are number one in Italy, <laughs> guys. So this is a Stroop waffle, um, and it is from the Netherl Netherlands. Yeah. Um, crazy about this. It is 20 points, guys. 20. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's probably the highest point snack I've seen. Since I was just going to say life. that. Like, I've never seen anything that high. Even meals, like even unhealthy meals, I have not seen that high. I got Stroop waffles on an airplane once, and that's how I was introduced to them. Wow, yours is all broken up. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, And I loved them. They were really, really good. So I'm excited. Um, Funny story. So I actually just got introduced to Stroop waffles at work from Alicia. Um, We're connected to our store. There is a Roach Brothers, and... They had these, but like in blueberry, on sale. And I had no idea what they were. And um, I was expecting them to be hard. Like, I was expecting them to be crunchy. And I was not expecting them to be, like, soft and, like, you know. So, just my story. That now they're in my box. Yeah. Hmm? They're everything I hoped and dreamed. I feel like I just don't get the Stroop Waffle craze. I'm not going to lie. I think it tastes good. 
but I don't think they're amazing. I think they're amazing. <laughs> I feel like yep. I'm missing something. I think they're so good. If they were not 20 points, I would probably have one a day. But they are 20 points. Yeah. I so I'm going to stay far away from those for a bit. Maybe after Weight Watchers. These are Debrosia Eugenia something. <laughs> we're still figuring it out. It's seven points for two servings. They are cookies, though. Oh, yeah. So it says two servings, so I assume each serving is a cookie. So I'm just going to take a nice small piece from this one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That was not expected. So this is probably like a point. I was like, why did you give me such a big piece? Okay. Oh, man. They're kind of hard to like, but okay. They're from Romania. I don't They're like very them. artificial. I feel like I just got a very artificial taste. Kind of like, you know, when you bite into like a hostess chocolate cupcake and it's good, but it's like that artificial taste. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, it tastes like a fake cookie. Like mm -hmm. it just doesn't taste real. I thought the chocolate in the center was good. It tastes like a Dollar Tree cookie. That's a good way to put it. Dollar Tree cookie. Yeah. Sorry, Romania. Nothing against you, but this is not a good cookie. No. I would never buy this in my life. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it for anyone else. <laughs> you know, we're trying to be honest, you know. Yeah, honest I'm, I'm going to just put it back in the package now. Thanks. So that was the last of our snacks. Um, we hope you enjoyed this new um, snack unboxing. Um, we will be getting more Munch Packs. Uh, so we'll be doing Universal Yums and Munch Pack from now on. And we hope you will tune in for our next video. Yeah, overall, I really like this box. Uh, it has some pretty good things in it. And some not so good things, but I do like the mix of the country. So that was pretty interesting. So at least we'll have that once a yeah. month, as well as the Universal Yums box. If you have any recommendations on different boxes, we are definitely open to trying new boxes. Absolutely. So make sure you let us know. Uh, and thanks for watching. And just real quick, um, we are still um, working on the Munch Pack videos. You know, Universal Yums, we do get fun facts and um little jokes um so we'll probably try to come up with some other ways you know look on line and find things we can incorporate into the video yeah for sure nice seeing you guys bye bye